St. Davis Pipes, how's it going? Savanelli, slightly bent, just slightly bent. I don't like the real heavy bent uh, pipes. In it, velvet, old codger blend. And why? Because I'm smoking old codger blend right now, velvet, because I want to talk about one of my favorite codgers who's no longer with us, my friend, his dad, Mr. Napoli. Uh, Mr. Napoli was an old codger. He worked in a steel mill and he drove a big, huge station wagon. You could put like 75 people in it. He had a wood shop in his, uh, in the back behind his house. And uh, he was my mentor for smoking pipes. So I bought my first pipe at the now defunct J.C. Penny Drugstore. And it was a Dr. Graybo. Or Grabo, however you like to pronounce it. And I was so proud of that pipe. And I bought a pouch of sale tobacco and a sale of uh, and a pouch of Kentucky Club. I think the whole shebang cost me like six bucks. I believe this was 1979. So I was complaining about to Mr. Napoli about how the, uh, the pipe was giving me tongue bite and well, I didn't even know it was called that then burning my tongue and this that and the other and he uh, took his pipe out of his mouth he pointed at me and he said David it's not the pipe it's you I will never forget that words of wisdom now, I haven't seen his son Rob in 40-some years, but two or three of the other buddies that I do keep in touch with from those high school days, once in a while, because they were all there hanging out in the wood shop, and uh, he let them smoke their cigarettes, and he was really a nice guy, and uh, we still bring it up uh, when he told me that, you know. So uh, he was a typical causer, as I said. He had about seven or eight pipes, K Woodies, Yellow Bowls, a couple of Dr. Gray, but seven or eight pipes is all he had. Handmade pipe rack that he made. And uh, he was my mentor. And he taught me how to pack a pipe. So I had a couple emails a week ago. Uh, new viewers wanted to know how I pack a pipe. I don't go for the nonsense Frank method, this method, and this nonsense, and that ridiculousness. Pipe. This is Savinelli 2014 Christmas pipe, by the way. Pipe. Tobacco pouch. Put tobacco in pipe. Right? Put tobacco in pipe. Lightly push it down to the bottom of the pipe. Fill a little more. Fill it a little more. Lightly, lightly push it down so that it's spongy. Do not overpack, do not overfill. Nice and spongy. There you go. No fuss, no muss. Who come up with... Who the heck is Frank? And why did he come up with this nonsensical Frank method? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> there. Pipes packed, ready to smoke. Anyway... Yeah, yeah, my mentor, Mr. Napoli. Anyway, have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. Happy Father's Day to the dads and the grandfathers. 
Hope you get some nice gifts. Hope you get a new pipe or some tobacco or some pipe-related pipe rack or some nice cigars or something. And enjoy yourself. I'll be working. That's okay. I will finish up this week. I'm on vacation. And uh, I'm heading up to the pipe meetup at Boswell's in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Come one, come all. Hope to see, meet some of you. Donnie Stove Piper is coming. Will Bill, Uncle Willie is planning on attending. Uh, Piper Dave said he was thinking about it. I don't know if he'll be back from Wyoming then or not, but he said he was thinking about it. Right now, I'm going to read my Pipe Collector June 2024 magazine and uh, some great articles, great, uh, great reading, pipes, tobaccos, and uh, if you're not a uh, member, please join. Please join the... Uh, North American Society of Pipe Collectors. The dues are $21 a year. And with that, you get this magazine. I think they print six or seven a year. Don't quote me on that. It's not every month. And they sponsor the North American Society of Pipe Collectors show in Columbus, Ohio in August every year. And that show is a blast let me tell you. Well, have a good night. We will see you on the flip side. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.